This is the CFX3 35 litre fridge freezer from Dometic. Overall 36 litres capacity, very compact and efficient, ideal for your outdoor activities. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hi, welcome to Snowies. My name's Kevin and I'm going to talk to you about the brand new range of fridges, the CFX3s. This one in particular is a 35 litre. It's an ideal fridge for short trips, weekends away, for a couple or even small families. Okay, so let's look at the, the dimensions of this fridge. Now overall you've got a length of 69.4, you've got a width of 39.8, and you've got a height of 40.7. Uh, on the end here we've got a couple of very strong handles, all cast aluminium with the prevalence of plastic, and this is your weatherproof control panel, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I'll just turn the fridge around. It comes in at a weight of 16.9 kilos. And of course on this end we've got the two power inlets. You've got two cables, one for the AC, one for the DC. For the AC you just plug the plug in straight into that way. The 240 volt and of course with the 12 volt plug go straight into the other side. Just lift that up, plug it in that way and you're way on 12 volt. And of course I'd also like to mention that on the end of the 12 volt plug you've got a little fuse inside there of 10 amp capacity. So if you have any problems just unscrew the uh, plug and replace the fuse. So inside here we have the Dometic compressor. It has a current draw of approximately 0.98 of an amp with a maximum current draw of 7.5 amps. Okay, so let's have a look at the top of the fridge. I'll quickly spin it around. Here we've got a very easy to use handle. Just lift it up, open it up. Now the fridge can be removed for ease of cleaning, so I'll just give it a good pull off. Stainless steel hinges both sides and to put them back on again, just sit them back over the top of the hinge decent thump with her hand and she's back on ready to use. Now let's have a look at the inside of the fridge. So in here you can see there's two sections, a deeper section here and a shelf up there which sits on top of the compressor. We've got a basket which can be removed for ease of cleaning and you've got the element that goes all the way around the outside of the unit these days with a COC free polyurethane insulation. Drain plug in the bottom and a LED light here just so you can see at night. I'll pop that back in again. Now it can carry 50 cans of drink or a 1.25 litre bottle of coke or even a wine bottle. Now depending on the height of the wine bottle you may not be able to shut the lid. This one we can but if it's much taller than this one you just have to lay it down in the bottom. So the materials used in this fridge are a polypropylene exoframe with an industrial strength insulation. We've got a cast aluminium handle on each end as I've mentioned before and we've got uh, stainless steel hinges on the end here. Now let's go and have a look at the control panel. Now you can see it's currently at 24 degrees because we've just turned it on. But if we want to change that, what we do is we hit the OK button and you have the temperature set. Hit that again and we've got this set at 4 degrees. Now I can either go up or down depending on what I want to set it at. And it has a range from 10 degrees down to minus 18. So I'll set that at OK, it'll flash sometimes and go off. We'll go down here, we have battery protection which I'll talk about in a minute. And we also have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which means you can run the phone controls from your phone with an app you can download. Over here you've got a display brightness and also the temperature settings will be in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Now I'll just go back to this back panel here and talk to you about the battery protection. If I hit the OK button, you can see I've got low, medium and high. Okay, I just want to quickly explain the basics of battery protection. You've got low, medium and high. A low protection that means it'll turn the fridge off at a lower voltage which means it'll drain the battery more which is good for perhaps an auxiliary battery. For high protection it'll turn itself off at a much higher voltage which means there's still plenty of uh, power left in your battery to start your car. Of course medium is in between there so you'll have to decide which one you go for depending on the size of your starter motor battery and the size of your auxiliary battery. Okay so that's it for the CFX3. Now if you want any more information on this fridge go to our website at snowies.com.au where we have the lowest prices every day. So we're going to see some more of this, subscribe up here. If you have any questions, leave a comment down here. If you want to check out any more videos, have a look over here.